In this video, we're going to take a look at two different ways to format text. And we're going to do that by applying a text to a path. The first way, we're going to curve our text around the circle. So we'll grab our circle tool. We'll hold down the Control Shift key and drag our mouse to make a circle. Holding Control Shift will ensure the circle is symmetrical. Next, we'll hit Control Shift F as in Frank. And we'll click the X button on the Fill panel to turn off the fill. And on the Stroke panel, we'll click the first box to give it a nice stroke outline around the outside. Next, we'll hit Control D for Duplicate. And we now have two circles. And we'll hold Shift and Control while we adjust the size of the circle down really, really small to the center. And we'll zoom in and go all the way down to where it's really tiny. This is just a simple trick that you'll see in a moment. Next, we'll add some text. We'll simply enter the date. Go back to your selector tool. Holding Shift, we want to select both items, and then we'll go to the text menu, hit on Path. And as you can see, it puts the text on the outside of the circle. So we're going to click to the side and then click back on just the circle. And we'll click this button that says Flip Selected Objects Vertically. And we moved our text to the inside of the circle. Next, you notice it put the text to the top right, and perhaps we want to work with it by having it down on the bottom. There are two ways you can correct this. First, you can select both objects by holding Shift, clicking a second time to get the Rotate buttons, and then rotate your entire project around. However, there may be cases where you want to work with other objects, and you want to be able to just simply move the text without moving the rest of your project. Remember that little circle we put in the center. If we click twice on our text only to get the rotate arrows and we try to rotate it, you see it just rotates in place. That's where this little plus sign comes into play. You only have this when you have the rotate arrows. So what we're going to do is move that little plus sign down to the center. And we're going to zoom in to where we see that little tiny circle we made. And we're going to put that plus in the center of that circle. That plus sign is the center axis around which the text will rotate. So now that we've moved it to the center of our circle, when we try to rotate, it will just move the text around. And you can do that with multiple objects. Once we have our text in place, if we want to export this to an SVG file without the circle, if we try to delete the circle, you see we lose our path. First, we'll get rid of our small circle in the center. Next, we'll click our text, and we'll click Path, Object to Path. Now we can delete our circle, and we can export this as is. The next method we're going to cover is with the Bezier tool. The Bezier tool lets you create lines and paths. So the Bezier tool, if you click, you can draw lines that intersect. And when you reach your ending point, you hit enter to end the segment. However, if I want to a curved line, I can start my line by clicking. And then the second point, I can hold my mouse and drag it and then let off of it and hit enter and it will give us a curve. And if I click on the node editor tool, and select the object, I can then bend it and move it. And if I double click, I can add another node and give it a different axis on which to curve. Next, we'll insert some text again. Again, we'll hold Shift and select both objects, and select Text, Put on Path. And now, with our text on our path, 
we can click our node editor and move this to whatever format we want. Perhaps I'll add another node and curve it this way. And you can click on nodes and delete them as well. Again, if I delete the path, our text goes back to normal, so we have to select the text only and go to path, object path, and then we can then delete our path and export this in the format it is on the screen. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.